Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central. It's your favorite time of the week. That's right, it's Whiteboard Wednesday time. And today we're going to talk about profiles on the big IP, what they are, why you, why you should care about them, you know, what they do, that kind of thing. And so, uh, so imagine this scenario, you have a client accessing, you want to ultimately get back here to your web servers, you're accessing uh, the big IP that's going to manage all this application traffic for you. So, um, you know, today's world's really complex. There's uh, certainly in the networking environments, there's a lot of different services that you may be running. There's a lot of different protocols you could use. You may be doing um, SSL uh, for encryption. You may be doing authentication. There's a lot of different stuff going on. And so the question is, you know, as all these different services, protocols, authentication, encryption, all that comes through here, how does the big IP handle all that stuff? And the answer is through profiles. And so, uh, so I wanted to mention a few different types of profiles that you can, that you, uh, that you'll see here on the big IP. So the first one is a, um, I'll put services, different services that you may run. And these are going to be things, uh, this is going to be like HTTP or say FTP. Um, there may be uh, different protocols that you want to, uh, that you want to use. So with say protocols, you're going to have, um, uh, maybe fast HTTP or uh, TCP, uh, maybe UDP. Those are some popular ones, and these are not all of them, but these are some. Give you a, give you an idea. Uh, maybe there's uh, there's persistence uh, uh, profiles. So I'll put persistence up here. Uh, persistence. Uh, you may have cookie persistence, and I, again, I won't write all of them, but I'm just giving you an idea. Uh, there's one uh, destination affinity. And I'll just put AFF for destination affinity. Uh, there's SSL profiles where you have client and you have server SSL profiles. Uh, there's authentication. I know I said I wasn't going to write all these things, but anyway, it's just, this gives you an idea of all the different types of traffic that comes through here, all the different types of ways that you can modify and manipulate and really optimize this traffic. Authentication, you may have things like LDAP. Uh, you may have radius. Uh, you may have tac tacax, tac -ax plus. Um, anyway, so that, again, that's not an exhaustive list, but it gives you an idea of uh, of some of the different profiles that you can create to apply to the virtual servers on your big IP. So uh, again, imagine clients coming through the big IP to go to a web server, and the the traffic gets routed to a certain virtu a virtual server. And maybe it's HTTP traffic. Uh, maybe you're doing SSL offload. Um, the question is, you know, again, how do you how do you deal with all that? And so you set up these profiles. And what they do is they again they allow you to manage your application traffic in a very highly optimized way. And so um, so we we can get into more details on exactly how you can manipulate and how you can set up these different profiles. But today we just wanted to make you aware that these things exist. A couple of the things I wanted to to mention about profiles is the concept of, I'm going to put the word default up here, default, and, and then custom. Okay, so default profile, for every single profile that exists on the Big IP, there's a default, um, you know, settings that have already been applied to that profile. So like for HTTP, for example, the way that HTTP traffic is handled, the Big IP already has a default HTTP profile, and it's highly optimized. All the really smart guys at F5 have gone through that and said, hey, what do we need to put on you know, that profile? How does it need to be configured? And so there's a default for every single one of these. And of, of course, you can certainly use the default profile as you're setting up your, uh, your Big IP and assigning to different virtual servers. But there's also this idea of custom profiles, and the way that the custom profiles are used is if you, let's say you have a, an HTTP profile and you want to set up a custom HTTP profile, you can, uh, you, you start with the default and then you take it from there and you may, you may modify things uh, just a little bit and that creates a custom profile. Uh, I would recommend to not mess with the default profiles on any of these. Uh, technically you can change the default profile. The problem with that though is, uh, and I'll, I'll also put this, um, I'll put this parent, this idea of a parent uh, that comes down to, say, a custom profile. And typically the parent profile is the uh, default profile, and you create a custom profile based on the settings of the parent profile. 
Uh, so again, if you mess with the default profile, which, which typically is the parent profile, then that's going to propagate to all the different custom profiles that you've created, and that's, uh, that's going to mess up things. Um, plus, again, these are really highly optimized profiles, so you don't really want to mess with, the, with what's already there. If you really need to customize, then that's why you create a custom profile, and that becomes, uh, that's built again on the settings of the parent profile. Uh, so those are a couple of things to keep in mind as well. Um, a couple of things that, uh, that kind of some benefits of these profiles is, let's say you have a situation where you have uh, services running um, and you want to, you know, you want to have a profile that's created that allows traffic to, uh, to flow to, you know, through all those services and you want that to propagate to a lot of different web servers on the back end, we well, can create one profile and assign it uh, to all of those and you just do it one time you don't have to have a, a different profile for every single one of them. Um, conversely, if you have uh, say one load balancer for example, then you can, you can assign all these different profiles on this one uh, big IP to handle all the different traffic that may go to, you know, uh, to, to a single set of uh, web servers back here and you can assign very highly optimized and very specific profiles to the virtual servers so that way you don't have to have a different load balancer for every single thing that you want to do. So, uh, so you can assign one profile to a lot of different stuff or you can take the one big IP and make it really highly customizable with a lot of different profiles and route traffic you know, that way. So there's, uh, there's benefits both ways. Um, one, one other thing that I'll mention about the, uh, this parent and custom as you're building these profiles, the parent and custom, uh, one reason to go ahead and do a custom profile is the parent or the default, I should say, the default profile is going to change as upgrades come out on the big IP or maybe a hot fix comes out on the big IP. And if you apply that, um, depending on what that hot fix or what that upgrade has in it, it may change some of the settings of the default profile. And so if you've created a custom profile, your custom profile is not going to change. And so, uh, so anyway, so we do recommend creating a custom profile uh, when applicable. So anyway, so, the, so this is just a kind, of a kind of a quick overview of profiles, what they are. We're going to get into more details maybe uh, with some other Whiteboard Wednesday videos. Uh, but this gives you an overview of, of what a profile is. It allows you to really customize the, uh, the traffic based on, you know, the service or the protocol or the whatever it is that's coming through the big IP. Um, and, and really manage your traffic in a, in a highly optimized manner. So, uh, so anyway, get out there, check out profiles, go ahead and uh, create a custom profile and, uh, and see what happens with your, uh, with your web app uh, traffic. And uh, so thanks for watching this edition of Whiteboard Wednesday and we will see you guys out there in the community.